What are we going to learn in this video? We're going to go through the motions of how a finite state machine works. We're going to start from scratch. We're looking at an example of a traffic lights system. So we're going to connect a traffic light to our, um, to our launch pad. So we have two inputs. Those are our inputs. We have six outputs. So our input is going to be a 2-bit input, and our output is going to be a 6-bit output. And the six outputs are our red, yellow, and green lights, and our two inputs are the sensors, car sensors in the north and east direction. Hmm. So let's uh, understand what our different inputs mean. So first we have an input of 0, 0, which basically tells us there are no cars. An input of 0, 1, which means there is cars in the east direction. And then we have an input of 1, 0, which tells us that there is cars in the north direction. And then we have the possibility of 1, 1, which means that there are cars in both directions. So that is our meaning of our input. So how do we begin to make this graph? So what we need to understand is what state can we find ourselves in? We have to start in some initial state. We're assuming that we will give our uh, importance to the north traffic. So our initial state is we will let the traffic go in the north direction. So what is the possible situation now? So I'm in this state, and I can have any of these inputs possible. So if I'm in the go north state, and there are no cars in my system, then there's no point in changing the state of my system. So I remain in go north. Huh. On the other hand, if I have input that says that there is traffic, contending traffic in the north direction, which means that I've already given the north traffic a go, and there is a car in the north direction. So I continue the status quo. Mm -hmm. Now there's a possibility that I have traffic in the east direction. So since I've already given priority or uh, access to the north traffic, I should yield myself and give control to the east traffic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a wait state. So I'll wait the north traffic for a little bit. And this is basically where I'm going to flash a yellow light. And then I'm going to eventually get to the other state. Now, if there is traffic in both directions, I'll do the same thing because I've already given access to the north. So I'm going to wait in the north direction. So which begs the question, what output should I produce when I'm in go north? The output has to be, has to correspond to the fact that I have a, a red here in the east, and I have a green in the north direction. That's what we know. So let's, let's produce the output that corresponds to that. And that's going to be an output of 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Oh. And so we, we've handled our first state. We've already, in doing this, we've already created two others, another state, which is wait not. So let's handle that state, So which tells us that there is a possibility that I'm in the wait not state. The wait not state now says that I am going to yield myself so that the east traffic gets a chance. So let's see what can happen now. So first we know that the output has to be a 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, which is for the yellow and on the north direction. So now let's, let's handle what happens in this state. In this state, this is kind of an in-between state. That is, we're going to transition, we're going to wait in this state, and after some time, we're going to transition to the obvious state, which is give access to the 
other direction. So we go east on if there are no cars. If there is cars in the east direction, we go east. If there is cars in the north direction, we still go east because we've just come from that state and we go east in this state also. So this answers our second state. So let's look at our new state that we've added. So our new state is go east. Go east kind of mimics go north. So what should be the output in go east? The output ought to be a 0, 0, 1, a 1, 0, 0. This is basically saying that we have a red for the north and we have a green for the east. So let's go ahead and fill the rest of the output. So now we say that if there are no cars, we remain go east. If there are cars in the east direction, we remain in go east. And if there is now a car that comes up on the north direction, then we have to transition, just like we did before. So we're going to go through an intermediate state, which is a wait east, where we will do a yellow for the east direction, and then we will eventually get out. So this is going to be our wait east here also because there's traffic in both directions, which kind of introduced our last state. Our last state is a wait east, and so we're going to produce an output corresponding to the state, which is a 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Again, this is basically a yellow in this direction. So let's go ahead and fill the rest of it. The rest of it is pretty straightforward because we're in a transitional state. Eventually, we're going to go to go north no matter what state we're in. So we have, we have our picture of how the system is supposed to work. We can now actually draw a FSM graph for this. This is a table. The FSM graph is simply a representation of the same information in a graphical way. Let's look at the FSM graph that is a visual representation of this table. So we have a go north state. We know what the output in this state is. I'm going to write this output in hex. So we will write this as 0x21, which is basically this value right here. And how long are we going to stay in that state? And since we have to dwell in the state for some time, I'm going to state that the dwell time in this is 3,000 times 10, times 10, 10 milliseconds, milliseconds, which is a 3 second delay. And then we will transition out of this as the input requires us. So we say that on input of 0, 0, or an input of 0, 0, or 1, 1, 0, we will remain in the same state. On an input of 0, 1, or 1, 1, so on an input of 0, 1, or 1, 1, we will transition to a new state. This is my state, which is a wait not. And the output I will produce here when I get there is 2, 2. And the dwell time here is 500 or 0.5 seconds, half a second. Again, we have to account for all the inputs here. Any input, no matter what input I get, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1, all of those states will take me to the same new state, which is my go east. The output I produce here is a 0c, and the dwell time here is 3,000 or 3 seconds. Again, if I get an input of either 0, 0 or 0, 1, I remain in the same state, and an input of, an input of either a 1, 0 or 1, 1 will take me to my wait east state. 
Now I have to complete the weight east state. The output in this state is a hex 1, 4. The dwell time is half a second. And we know that no matter what input we get here, we're going to go from here all the way to this. If I get a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. So what we see is there is a one-to-one -one correspondence relationship between the table and the FSM graph. In fact, we will see that there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between these and the software we will write. So let's, um, let's do the one-to-one -one relationship between the graph and the actual software. So I'm going to use this space here. We'll we'll lay it out as it would show in our software. So the way we're going to do this, uh, obviously there's some detail we're going to miss, but we should be able to get all of it. So let's, um, mm -hmm. let's put it up. So here's the software. So we have a state type. This RFSM is going to have four states. So those are our four states. And each state, we will have an output. So there's my output for the first state, which is my go n state. And this is my first state. I'll call this 0, I'll call this 1, I'll call this 2, and I'll call this 3. So that's the indexes in my array of 4. So the first one has an output. It has a delay, which is 3,000. And it has the next states I can go to on each input. On input of 0, 0, I can go to go n, so I'm going to write that. On an input of 0, 1, I can go to wait, I go to wait n. On an input of 1, 0, I go to go n. And an input of 1, 1, I go to wait n. Notice the similarity between the table and the line in the software. You see that? It's the same thing. So that's our first element. Our next element is going to have be corresponding to our weight n. So we close this, we close that, we have our first element. Our second element is going to be 0x output of 2, 2, which is right there, which is this output, which is the same as that output, with a 500. And we will write our list from here. This list says go e, go e, go e, go e, and go e. So I close that, and there's my second element. My third element is, is the index 2 location. And so this output corresponds to 0x, 0c. The out Duration is 3,000, and then we have our outputs, our next states, which are go e, go e, await e, and await east. We close that. We're down to our last element, which is our output of 0x14, uh, dwell time of 5 100, half a second, and we go north no matter what the input. So what we see here is a one-to-one -one mapping between the state graph in picture form, the tr state transition table here in table form, and the software that we're going to program into the microcontroller. So table. FSM graph are the same, FSM graph and the software are the same, the software and the table are the same. So we start with either one of these. Ideally, we would start with a, with a very fleshed out idea. We start here. We get visual clarity here. And we do the development here. And you can see the software that runs the engine uh, later on in the section. But this is how we're going to develop finite state machines.